Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what's gonna pop up in theaters on May 24th. Dwayne Johnson is not a cop. He's a lifeguard, but he's certainly not gonna let that stop him from going undercover to bust up a drug ring in Baywatch, a hilarious send-up slash homage to the cheesy hit 90s TV show of the same name. That show, from what I can remember, took itself pretty darn seriously and tried incredibly hard to be sexy in a very 90s music video kind of way. Thankfully, this movie version doesn't take the material seriously at all, and instead focuses on having a good time. As for the sexiness, well, let me address that right up front. This is a very, very sexy cast, and there's a little bit of eye candy for everyone, no matter what your predispositions are. The great thing is, even though the characters will sometimes refer to other characters' sexiness, the movie, meaning how it was shot and whether the camera lingers or leers, the movie isn't trying hard to be sexy in the way that the TV show was. It just is. They just hired an amazingly good-looking cast all around, and then focused on making them primarily funny. Or, in the case of the very sexy villain played by Priyanka Chopra, making her a charismatic and charming foil for the heroes. The sexiness, well, it's definitely there in a very, very big way. It's just incidental. And that is precisely the right way to do this sort of thing. I mean, look at Dwayne Johnson. Here he's running around in a bathing suit for the whole movie, but you know from experience that this is a guy that you can put in a periwinkle unicorn t-shirt and he can make that look sexy. But you also know from past experience, and this is also true of Zac Efron as well, that these guys can also riff up a storm and will go as far as they need to for the joke. This serves them incredibly well in Baywatch, where the central premise, as the movie lovingly points out every chance it can get, that unarmed lifeguards with no legal authority really shouldn't be investigating crimes. Sure, they may conveniently know a lot about computer hacking or marine biology or coroner's reports or medical procedures at just the right time that the movie needs them to, but really, their actual job concerns rescuing people from a very small section of the beach, and that's it. And you can't build much of a story around that. So it's amazing that the show was able to produce as many episodes as it did. But in this movie, we get a story of some up-and-coming trainees joining forces with the veteran lifeguards to investigate some mysterious deaths that may be linked to some drugs that also coincidentally washed up on the beach they patrol. Riding out this goofy plot is made much, much easier by two things. The first is that the action scenes are very well shot and viscerally paced. I mean, I love this shot of Zac Efron diving off a pier from the trailer. And there are some truly awe-inspiring stunts and great action photography both in and out of the water. The other thing that not only makes this movie enjoyable but quite possibly is the best reason to see it is no it's not the copious eye candy. By the way have I mentioned that? Because seriously this movie has a ridiculous amount of hot people in it. Charismatic and extremely likable too. The one-two punch of Alexandra Daddario and Kelly Rohrbach as charming romantic counterpoints to the blundering men in their lives is actually kind of irresistible. I need a minute. No, no, no. It's the fact that this movie is a non-stop joke machine. Legendary comedy writing team Thomas Lennon and Robert Ben Garant share a story by credit on this one, and oddly, the two writers with the screenplay credit have only horror movies to their name. But whether the cast, including comedian Hannibal Burris, improvised the hell out of this one, or just had amazing jokes written for them, or some combination of both, there are way, way more hits than... Actually, you know what? I, uh, I can't think of one single punchline that didn't land. How about that? Baywatch is rated R and does make several turns into the raunchy with its humor and its language, but it is remarkably restrained when it comes to the sexuality. Whatever small amount of nudity here is only played for laughs, and considering that comedies, when given R ratings, tend to push the boundaries of taste simply because they can, I can't recall a single gratuitous boob in this movie. And for a movie based on a series whose most memorable element was watching its cast run towards you in bathing suits in slow motion, well, I have to commend the filmmakers for having the good sense to, uh, keep it in their trunks so to speak. In the end, I award Baywatch a large bag of popcorn because its characters never stopped earning my laughter or my affection or even, yes, my love-struck gaze. Alexandra Daddario, call me. In this movie, when there's not something to gawk at, there's something to laugh at, and often there's both in the same scene. You can certainly enjoy Dwayne Johnson having a knockdown, drag out fight with a criminal inside of a child's bedroom, all while fully aware that as a lifeguard he's not supposed to be fighting criminals at all, and the movie knows it and gets that it's ridiculous, but still takes the time to make the scene visually compelling as an action scene in its own right. The perfect combination of silly, 
sexy, Baywatch delivers non-stop thrills and laughs with the relentlessness of the tide and with a buoyancy of spirit that makes it all look easy. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And please support us by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Baywatch in the comments as well. Did it uh, sink or swim for you? In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And I'm Oceanic, motherfucker.